So here's what happened. Remember yesterday, so we put up an episode, it was something about excuses or results. Because I was in a very real world situation. I didn't have time. I had a lot to do. I had to go to the store and get chicken legs for the puppies. And I had every excuse in the book not to put out the podcast, because let's be honest, who the hell's going to miss it anyway? Right, there's 2,400, 2,500 episodes. Who's going to miss one? I will. Who's going to know if I skip my imaginal X and just imagine shit? On autopilot. I will. So will you, by the way. Everyone will be affected by that. So here's what happened yesterday. I shared my core identities, loving husband, loving teacher, loving puppy dad. And I talked about, you know what? I nailed my two calls yesterday. I nailed doing what I promised to do as a loving husband. And I got the chicken from my pups. But meanwhile, let's really nail some stuff here. People talk about you're as good as your word. See, they talk about the power of your word. I'm sort of into that. But where does your word come from? Your word comes from who you are being in the world, how you are seeing the world. Loving husband, loving teacher, loving puppy dad. Those three states all see the world in a very similar and yet very different, unique way. The way you see the world depends who you're going to be in the world. Who you are being in consciousness determines how you see the world, how you hear the sound of my voice. So yesterday, I was frankly very short and very honest. And here's what happened. I was in the hot tub for 15 minutes instead of an hour. I love my hot tub mornings. And I love answering things. I love making things. I love just sitting here listening to the birds. 15 minutes. Because I had to get to the store. So I get back to the house. Victoria says, what are you doing? You're back already. I says, I got to go to the store. I promised you. And I didn't make it like a solemn promise, like a wedding vow. I just told her, I'll go tomorrow. Right? We're both busy. We got the gardener coming in. She's selling plants from the garden. It's it's just a busy morning. I'll go. That's what I told her yesterday. I'll go. No biggie. And I could have made it a biggie. So, right, I clean up. I toss out my slippers. I only go shopping in my slippers. That's the kind of guy I am. I get an Abdullah, my black BMW. Fire it up. Pull up to the edge of the driveway. No traffic at all. It, there should be traffic. From 7 to 9 a.m., there's traffic. Often it's just sit there traffic. There's none. I have no idea why. In the space of one and one half songs, I get to the shopping center. So I've imagined up what I've imagined up. It's not a big deal. Let me go do my thing, get back and do my other things. So I get to the shops. I go in and I grab a couple of things like butter and onions along the way because I love butter and onions. And I get back to the chicken area to get the drumsticks for the dogs. And I like getting, like, one particular brand. It's Cryovac. There's no bullshit in it. And I look to where they should have it, and it's not there. That whole complete section is empty. Most of the rest of the chicken section is empty. And so I turn, and I can see boxes and boxes of chickens and stuff they're going to be putting out. And I look, and not one of them is my chicken. Not one. And then I turn, because I'm not standing at this point where they usually put my chicken. I'm standing right in the middle of the chicken department where there's just some shit tossed around. And right in the middle of the chicken department where they have some shit tossed around is my chicken. I think they had nine of them. I took seven. All right, that way I don't got to go back for another week. Right? Nice and simple. But I want you to get some gold here. Ready? First, there was no traffic. As you know, if you listen to this, I listen to traffic. I am not traffic. I've got a very strict policy on that, right? You want to come see me? You come see me, right? I don't go anywhere. It's just, I go to the pool, I go to the shops, I go to the lovely outdoor market, and that's it. Number two, I got my chicken. Mine. And they put it in the wrong spot, which happened to be exactly where I parked my buggy. All right. So I got my chicken. So I come home. 
and I've got plenty of time, and I have two amazing calls. Let's keep going. Because what happens next is, I make a couple suggestions during the podcast. Number one, the, the first suggestion I make, and it's probably not even a suggestion, it's about non-negotiable. Me making this podcast is non-negotiable. Me serving my clients, non-negotiable. Me getting the chicken for my pups because I promised my wife and I've already imagined my pups eating their chicken, not some like old dog food that we pull out of the cupboard because I didn't have time to go to the store. Non-negotiable. I want you to notice today how much of your day, how much of your life is negotiable. And I want you to ask yourself, compared to Mr. 20, how much of my life is negotiable? And then the coolest thing happened to me. Because I made two suggestions, I believe. One, I, I mentioned Joseph Goddard to the max. You want to own your morning. Joseph Goddard helps you do that. Joseph Goddard helps you have daily wins. It's a cool little formula, right? Next, I mentioned state stacking. And I said, if you're getting the goal here because your identity determines your activity. And your activity, well, let's just face it. What do you want to do? How do you want your life to be different? These are the things that matter most. Because it's the power of your vision that changes everything. And we had more people yesterday invest in state sacking than I've ever had in one day. I suspect it's probably because of what I imagined. I suspect it's because of what I imagined and how I let this, the podcast show up and how you invited you to show up in your world. So for those of you who invested in state stacking or Joseph got her to the max yesterday, thank you. Reach out anytime. I am always here to help. I love answering questions. Some of the old school kids, maybe you've noticed that pack keeps growing because I keep adding more bits to it that will enhance your experience. Because you ask a question, I go, boy, that'd be good to explore and stick in the pack, and I do. And this is where I want you to play. I want your life to become non-negotiable. Because here's what matters. You and your dreams. How many ways would you actually living a life that's non-negotiable bless your kids? And by the way, I don't know if you can hear that noise in the background, but you'll notice I'm not stopping. So many people, they stop, start all the time, or they take little baby steps. I want you to dive in and make a splash. If you got gold today, I think you know what your my suggestions will be. Go to statestacking.com. Invest in you. My other suggestion, Joseph Goddard to the max. That little routine will help you run your day in ways that, well, so you have daily wins, so you develop the confidence in who you are and how this works. My name is Mr. 2020. What do you reckon? How did I do? Because I made it non-negotiable. I let me and my dreams and my commitments, my identities, be non-negotiable. Factor all that in. And now for fun, imagine up something lovely about you being even more non-negotiable as we go into the silence. So this is what happens whenever you become 100% committed to you, when you become non-negotiable. Notice I, what do I got to share with you today? Results. You know what I hear a lot of in the world? Excuses. Here's why I'm waiting, Mr. 20. This is what's happening. <laughs> Whatever. I'm what's happening. I want you to be what's happening. Have a lovely day. See ya.